have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Strand Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strand Team family, welcome to the Strand Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you gotta do is put them at the bottom and I promise you I'm gonna make that video happen. You already know what we have, ladies and gentlemen. It is the four week strength team challenge. If you have missed any of the first three weeks, I'll make sure I put it right up here. That way you can get some gains with us. Listen, this is the last week. If you made it this far, I am super proud of you. It's his week number four. It's his day number two. Yesterday we killed chest, so today we're going to kill back. Normally I do some biceps with this workout, but if you followed my last bicep workout, your biceps should still be sore. If you missed that one, I'll put it right up here. It was a 25 minute follow along biceps and all you needed was one pair of dumbbells. My biceps are still somewhat pumped, but most definitely they are still sore. So all we're gonna to do today is kill our back and focus a little bit of work and effort into our traps. That is way too much talking, so let's jump straight into this killer back and trap workout. Our first exercise, we have the incline bench, dumbbell or barbell row. We have five total sets and this is how I want your sets to go. Your first set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 15 reps. Then your second set, add some weight. Now I want you to choose a challenging weight for you to get 12 reps. Your third set, add a little bit more weight. Now I want you to aim for 10 reps. Now your fourth set, you're gonna add some more weight and now I want you to aim for eight reps. Your fifth and final set is gonna be your heaviest set. So choose a heavy, and I mean as heavy as possible without messing up your form, a heavy weight for you to be able to perform six good reps. If you can maybe do six or seven, that's even better because I think I got seven reps. Now you already know how it is over here at Strength Team. It's all about volume and intensity. So that fifth and final set is gonna be a double drop set. Just like on the screen, I'm showing you how to perform your double drop set. You're gonna go ahead and get Get six, maybe seven reps. Immediately take some of the weight off. I think I just took off a 10 pound plate on each side and immediately I went right back in there and I repped it all the way out to failure. I think I may have got like eight or nine or even 10 reps. After I reached failure, now I drop off some more weight and I think I took off another 10 pound plate on each side and went right back in there and got as many reps as I possibly can do. Now after this exercise, I want you to rest for at least two minutes. Now after finish with that, we're gonna do the single arm dumbbell row. We have four sets and we're gonna stay between eight to 10 reps. I want you to choose a heavy weight, but at the same time, don't make it so heavy where you're cheating your form. Like you're sitting on a video, my form is in check. I'm controlling the weight the entire range of motion. I'm going all the way down and exaggerating that stretch so far that I'm almost touching a dumbbell to the ground. And then I'm coming up. But as you're seeing, when I come up, I don't jerk the weight up. I literally just think about pulling the dumbbell all the way back and then squeeze my back at the top of the rep. I'm telling you, if you do it like this, you do not have to go heavy. You can leave your ego outside and get so much more gains. And honestly, you're gonna stay that much more safe. Cause I notice once I go extremely heavy, I start using my legs, my quads, my glutes, my whole entire body. And honestly, my lower back gets more sore and more tired than my entire back that I'm trying to work. So I'm telling you, definitely just try this out and choose a moderately heavy weight where you can control it throughout the entire range of motion. I only use 80 pounds and that was heavy enough and perfect for me. Not to finish with that, we have the V-bar seated cable row. We have three sets and we're gonna stay between eight to 12 reps. Again, I want you to focus on your form. Look at this guys and ladies, you can see I get that deep stretch. I always think about with the stretch, try to let my elbows go in front of my knees. And once I get that far of a stretch, then I think about just dropping my elbows all the way back to my obliques, right on my side and just hold it for a half second. And I'm gonna repeat that for every single rep. And after every single set, I added a little bit of weight. I didn't wanna go extremely heavy because I know I was gonna start cheating, use a lot of momentum, and I didn't want that. I wanted my back to work. I wanted my back to be under that tension. I wanted my back to just get the best pump that it possibly could. So that's why I did not go extremely heavy. Not to finish with that, it's time to put some sweat on your foreheads. We got our first superset. We're going to superset the wide grip lat pull down with a straight arm push down. Now with the lat pull downs, we're going to do three sets and we're going to stay between 10 to 12 reps. Again, you do not have to go extremely heavy. I could go probably like 240 to 250 pounds, but instead I kept the weight around 160 to like 190. That way my form could be in check the entire range of motion. With this exercise, I focus on keeping my chest up, driving my elbows straight to the ground. So as soon as I get all the way down, usually my elbows are right at my side and I squeeze and hold it for a half second and then I control the weight on the way up. That's what I want every single rep to look like, guys. Over here at Strength Team, we are not ego lifters. We are 
game getters. We focus on great form throughout the whole entire range of motion so we can get the best out of every single rep. Immediately after you get your 10 to 12 reps, you're gonna go right over there and you're gonna do the straight arm push down. With this, we also have three sets for 10 to 12 reps. I want you to exaggerate the range of motion. I'm showing you on the video so you can see what I mean. Think about letting that bar go over your head and then think about just pushing your hands all the way down to your quads and hold it for a half second and then repeat that every single rep. If you cannot do it like that, listen, just drop the weight. I promise you, you're going to feel so much better during your workout, after your workout, and a couple months down the road, you're going to have better gains. It's not about moving the most weight. It's about controlling the weight, getting the stretch, and contracting the muscle. That's how you're going to make the most gains possible. Now, after we finish with that, we got one more superset, and this workout is over. We are going to superset the dumbbell front shrugs with the Smith Machine back shrugs. This right here is hands down gang certified guys and ladies. We're gonna do three to four sets on both of them. Now with the dumbbells, the weight that I used was 90 pounds. Listen, you can go way heavier. You may not be as strong, so you don't have to go as heavy, but what I want you to focus on, exaggerate that stretch. The dumbbell should almost come all the way down to your knees. And now drive your shoulders all the way up and squeeze and hold it for half a second at the top. Every single rep, that is what I want it to look like. I'm showing you again on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Immediately after your set of 10 or 12 reps, you're going to drop the dumbbells and you're going right to the Smith machine and now you have back shrugs. With this, you do not have to go heavy. I think I had one 45 pound plate on each side because we're going to do 20 to 25 reps and I don't want sloppy reps, guys. You know what I want. I want those good picture perfect good quality reps like you're seeing in the video i get a wide grip and i just think about bringing my shoulders all the way up i exaggerate and think about trying to bring my shoulders to my ears even though i know it's not possible for me it makes it easier for me to contract my traps so definitely try that trick i slightly lean forward just a little bit not a lot just a little bit and just bring my shoulders up squeeze at the top for half a second and go all the way down and get that deep stretch i'll repeat that for every single rep by the time you get to like 12 13 13 reps, your traps are going to be so pumped. Even if you, now let's say you get stuck at like 15. Instead of you doing like five to 10 extra sloppy reps, go ahead and rack that weight. Rest for maybe like five to 10 seconds. Get right back in there and finish your set. This workout right here was perfect. It only took me like an hour. I worked out by myself. So all the clips may not be beautiful because I don't have nobody to set it up on, but it doesn't matter. You can see what I'm doing. You got the workout. You know what to do. So this is day number two. This is week number four. Are you going to finish strong? I know you started off strong, but listen, we got to finish just as strong, if not stronger than what we started. So take this workout, get you a screenshot, and get in that gym and get your gains. But like I take in every single video, Strength Team, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. <sighs> You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream.